Okay, we've looked at shape tweening, uh, we've uh, looked at um, frame actions, um, tweening in general, setting up buttons for navigation. Now you're in a very good situation to be able to create your own, your own designs using the methods that we've used. This sort of ends the beginner's side of uh, learning Flash. Um, we're going to move on next to more advanced features or intermediate features uh, that you're going to need um, and it will run into different software that you're going to be required to to learn to some degree to be able to um, put images in there and also the difference between um, vectors and, and pixel based images So that sort of ends the beginner's side of it. So now we'll go on to beginner intermediate side of the course. And for this, we'll start a new file. We'll talk more about structure and we'll try and aim it towards doing it as a production for a particular project. In this case, it's going to be creating a banner. So we're just gonna do a banner ad, um, show you how to, how to produce that. Um, and also how to output the files into an HTML document automatically from Flash rather than manually doing it and the advantages and disadvantages of, of doing this so I'll see you in the next lesson um, in the meantime have a play about with everything you've learned you've now got all the tools that you need to be able to create a website so you've got your buttons to be able to navigate to each page as you know about adding simple animations. I suggest, like all programs, you use your creativity to try to make the program work for you. But we'll move on to more advanced uh, features next and it will be a project based on producing a banner and then I might do a micro site based on that banner. Um, we'll talk about a little bit about FTP as well. Not great detail because I might set up a tutorial to do that and as well as I might, um, I'm setting up a tutorial for um, Photoshop, um, I'm going to do one for Dreamweaver. So I might refer to go and have a look at the Dreamweaver or the uh, Photoshop file for particular parts of, of this course, um, as well as in those other courses I might refer to go and have a look at the Flash page. So the whole thing, I hope, becomes very fluid and you can move between the programs to learn what you need rather than starting from point one to um, point 100. You can jump around between the training courses and pull out the information you need. Um, I've t titled all of the movies so that it is easy to find the sections that you need for each, for each case. So, okay. That ends the beginner side of this course and now we're going to move on to the next. I'll see you in the next lesson for a brand new project using what you know already and more advanced techniques and building upon the techniques that I've already taught you. Okay, until then, I'll see you later.